Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We'll be covering everything from sports, hot topics, classic, the base entertainment, and we'll be giving you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. We all know that Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan are widely considered, you know, the most lethal duo in NBA history, or one of the most lethal duos in, 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 you know, in NBA history. They pretty much dominated the 90s. They won six championships in eight years. A lot of people argue that, listen, if Michael Jordan didn't have to take a forced sabbatical uh, from the game, if he played, um, some people believe that the Chicago Bulls could have possibly won eight championships in a row, right? And there's an argument for that. Now, obviously, this didn't happen, but a lot of people tend to feel that way. Now, um, the majority of us, or at least me, we didn't see, I didn't seem to know that there was this level of jealousy and disdain from Scottie Pippen towards Michael Jordan. From the outside looking in, you know, you see these guys high fiving and, you know, running up and down the court. You think everybody's friends. But inside, behind closed doors, it seems as if that Scottie Pippen really wasn't fond of Michael Jordan at all. He really wasn't fond of him. And he seemed as if he really didn't like him. So I was listening to two segments a segment where they kind of did a continuation on Undisputed with Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless, kind of giving some, you know, some further thoughts on this, on this issue. And the first comments that Stephen A. Smith made, his raw comments when the news first broke and he was talking about it on ESPN, there was something there that was said by Stephen A. Smith and some things that were said by Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless that we want to play for you guys, where they said some things that was a bit startling to me, that some things that really stood out to me. So what we want to do here, we want to play a compilation of some of the comments that or basically the exchange between uh, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. And then we want to play what Stephen A. Smith had to say, because I think that's the part that really stood out to me. So we want to play these clips for you, come back and give you guys our thoughts, because I think these are some startling uh, revelations, at least in my opinion. So before we go too far, take a listen to some of the things that were said, uh, you know, in these clips. Take a listen to that. Yeah. Well, there's, I don't think anybody's debating that Mike was a better player than Scotty. Yeah. But Scotty make it seem, say, y'all making it seem like I was a bum, like I was the eighth uh, guy on the I, roster. I got it. But to me, Scotty was always something of a sad figure because he was bitterly jealous of Michael while they were playing, and it's only gotten worse over time. But, but see, and, and jealousy a lot of times is created by people, the peripheral. I don't think Michael did anything that, okay, but you know that, that, that the superstar get certain perks and privileges or whatever the case may be, but you just understood that, Skip. And I do agree with you that I think uh, uh, Jordan did a lot for Scotty's confidence. He's like, Scotty, let's shut this thing down. I, it, you know, it, it's just tough. It's just tough to. I, I hate that it's come to this. Skip, I didn't never think. I didn't ever think they were the best of friends, the closest of friends. But it seemed like almost like secretly that Scotty despised Michael. Despised. As he was up close, mm -hmm. and I, you know. The, I, I've been hearing from several Bulls insiders that I knew from 98 on, and, and they are so disappointed in this whole situation yes. right now because it just stinks. You know, right. it, just, it, it just has a, a stench to it. Right. That, that they, 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 they won Scottie, six championships. Skip, Scotty couldn't, yeah. have, couldn't pick up a phone and call Mike and say, Mike, I, don't, I didn't like the way you portrayed me, but, bro, you didn't have to do that. Yeah. You didn't have to put me in there. I see, you wasn't even there in 94. He says, what you did is that my lowest moments in my career yep. is somehow in this last dance documentary, mm -hmm. and it did, none of those happened in 1998. Mm. So, so why is that? I get it, Skip, but, I mean, this is... I mean, this I, I, I've never seen anything like this, Skip. Yeah, well... Uh, they are never going to reconnect. I no, no, no. That. You know I joined this. Yeah, you that's know. it. I mean, yeah. Barkley said something about, you know, him not being a great GM, <laughs> he and he refused, he changed yeah, the number, it. refused to speak to him. I know. Yeah. So, yeah, this this is... Mm. But I don't think the bridge was ever up. No. So you talk about... True, he, he, True. He, he, he burned yeah. the bridge. There was yep. no bridge, Skip. An interesting this is just sad. I, I hate so it. So looking at all of these things, yeah. all of these things, the most egregious part about this is what was written in the New York Post. Last comment. When Pippen said, quote, okay. Pippen said, quote, I regret not giving my condolences to Michael Jordan at the passing of his father. His father passed away after the first three P. So you had year one without Michael Jordan, year two, you had the three years you were with him for the second three P to express your condolences. You never did it. Michael Jordan never even thought about that until he saw it. Yeah. And then he realized, wait a minute. That was intentional. You didn't give me condolences on purpose. I didn't even think about this. 
He's crossed the line. Him and Jordan, it's over. Take it from me. It's First of all, it seemed as if, and both Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless admitted as much, it seemed as if that Scottie Pippen was envious of Michael Jordan. Maybe he was envious of his play on the court. Maybe he was envious of his position in, you know, in society. Whatever the case was, it seemed as if it was something that really bothered him. It seemed to me that Scotty was bothered by the fact that Michael Jordan got the lion's share of the credit whenever the Bulls won, but he felt as if that whenever things didn't go right, he felt as if that, listen, you know, Jordan didn't get enough criticism. It was like the team. Now, from what I understand about Michael Jordan's career, and I didn't get to watch it in its entirety, I understood, I, you know, I found out that Michael Jordan was heavily criticized for not winning. Initially, he was sensational. He was like, you know, he was revolutionizing the game, making people very interested in basketball. But after a while, people started to ask the question like, okay, can this guy win? Is he just going to be winning scoring championships and all of it? Can he win? Can he win a championship? So a lot of people were asking like, hey, Jordan, you got to break through, you got to break through, you got to break through. Ultimately, he did when he played against, I think the first thing they beat was the Los Angeles Lakers. But Jordan was criticized in his career the same way LeBron was criticized and others, right? Same way Giannis was criticized until he won. Scotty seems to be making it seem as if that never happened. That was the first thing. But the, the one that really got to me was what Stephen A. Smith said. Those were the comments that stood out to me about Scotty Pippen not expressing his condolences to Jordan after he lost his father. That was stunning to me because it seems as if Scotty had so much anger and negative feelings towards Michael that he would go as far as willingly or you know, willingly not expressing his condolences to the man after he lost his father. To me, that's deep. That is deep. And it makes me really think like, man. Pay attention to your circle. You know, really scrutinize the people you have around you and make sure you have the right people around you. Because according to some of the comments that Stephen A. Smith made, he said Jordan had never even considered that until Scotty said it. And he said that was the final straw. Like, you know, listen, it is done between me and this guy because it seems as if, unfortunately, Scotty Pippen despised Michael Jordan. He despised him. And it, it hasn't just been Michael that he's had all of this anger towards. You remember the comments he made on the Dan Patrick show about his former coach, Phil Jackson, which I thought was like, I was like, what? Went as far as calling Phil Jackson a racist because of the call that he drew up for Tony Kukoc. And then ultimately he said he tried to, he said the only way he could rationalize it is the only way he would do that was because what? You know, he wouldn't drop the play for him because he's right. I'm like, what? And now you're saying all of these things about Jordan publicly? For what? What is it to sell a book? Are you willing to throw away your relationship with your former teammate for a book? I mean, I'm trying to understand why he's doing this. Because if you felt this way, why didn't you come out and make these comments 10 years ago? Hell, why didn't you make these comments? Why didn't you say these things to Jordan when you were playing with him? Why now? Why after retirement? Why after so many years have gone by? It's what it was said in the documentary. That's what threw you over the edge. If that's the case, what about the comments about not expressing your condolences towards it? I mean, that's that's cold. That's deep to me. It's deep. And it seems as if even his former teammates think the entire situation is a mess. To me, it's it's absurd, this entire situation. And I thought that the comments that, you know, Shannon Sharpen said, listen, that this guy was really and, and you said you heard him say, you know, the bridge is burnt. He's like, there was never a bridge in the first place. To me, I just think it's a very sad situation. And it seemed as if that, you know, Scotty never really liked Jordan. So what I want to know from you guys is what are your feelings about the situation? Are you with Scotty? Do you agree with him? Do you understand what he's saying or not? Do you think this thing is wrong? Whatever you guys think. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, 
and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode.